Good day everyone! We have here an educational video to help you how to determine the limit given the graph of the piecewise function g of x below. Here are my members, Ashley Miles Alde, Eliza Varios, Charlotte Amo, and me, Sansi Gabriel, to help you to know the limits given the graph below. Here are the limits that we have to solve using the graph. The limit of g of x as x approaches to negative 1 from the left side. So, yung negative 1 natin from the x-axis is ito. So, from negative 1, hahanapin natin yung graph niya from the left side, which is this. This graph approaches to negative 3. So, the limit of g of x as x approaches to negative 1 from the left side is equal to negative 3. The limit of g of x as x approaches to negative 1 from the right side. So, this is the negative 1 from the x-axis. This is the negative 1. So, from negative 1, we need to find the graph from the right side. So, this graph approaches to positive 3. So, the limit of g of x as x approaches to positive 3 from the right side is equal to positive 3. We are down to the last limit, the limit of g of x as x approaches to 2. Again, we just have to find the value of 2 in our x-axis because there are no sign of positive or negative in our limits. We have to find the both sides of our limits. We can see that the limit of g of x as x approaches to 2 from the left is equal to negative 2 and the limit of g of x as x approaches to 2 from the right is equal to positive 4. Because our both part of the limit is not equal to each other, we can say that the limit of g of x as x approaches to 2 does not exist. That's all for today. I hope you learned something.